Welcome to this week's video of the Gimpin' Camper. Today we're going to take a, another look at our uh, light post flag holder that we take camping with us. It's just a little bit inconvenient for storage because the post is so tall. So I got a way to fix that, uh, stick around, take a look at it, see if this is something you'd like to take camping. If it is, the original video which shows exactly how I made this will be uh, right up here, okay? It's also in the description. We start out with our base, which is a two by 12. It does have some holes in it so I can stake it down if I want to. And this is just a closet flange. You just find a semi level spot to put that on. The closet flange does have a little bit of play. As of now, I've been keeping this just as one piece. It does fit in our storage, but with the generator and stuff, this end ends up sitting over the batteries and I don't really like it. So. We're going to change that out today, but as of right now, we just stick it down in there. And it does have a little bit of wiggle, so if it's not straight or something, you can move it around a little bit and it stays for the most part. Then we have our two sides here that just thread on. This thing's also got scratched up quite a bit from being in the storage, so we're going to put a fresh coat of paint over it when we get everything done. And then the other side. My pipe that's in the middle here, um, I had it glued where it wouldn't turn, but that came loose, but it's fine. So this is our lamp post. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to cut this in half, uh, halfway down the post. And we're going to put a threaded union on there. That way it'll maintain its strength and it won't, uh, you know, wiggle like it does in the closet flange down here. And I think that that'll be great. Now you can cut this stuff with about anything, but a miter saw is gonna be the easiest to get a straight cut. This is just halfway down the pipe, which gives us plenty of room to our flag poles. So I think it's gonna be plenty supportive. Okay guys, so this is our post that we cut in half. These are our two pieces we're gonna use. So this is the male threads. This is technically a clean out. We're just gonna to toss that one. And then the two will just go together. Okay, no big deal. So I'm gonna put the female on the bottom here. Change of plans, that doesn't fit. It fits in the female end, but that would totally not make sense for what we're trying to do. So I'm gonna to have to go get female threads elsewhere. And we're going to go ahead and put the male end on. So push it down. All right. So then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and uh, put a coat of paint on here. What you should do beforehand is uh, go over it with a little bit of sandpaper. I sanded it the last time, it still got all scratched up. And this paint that I used before was Fu Krylon Fusion. And I thought it would hold up better, but. It still scratches up a little bit, which is fine because it's in the camper, but um, just got some regular uh, paint that says it's for plastic, metal, or wood to go over it. So it should be fine for what we're doing. After I get the uh, female piece tomorrow, we'll be back again. Okay, but I'm gonna go ahead and put a coat of paint over this. That way these threads can get a coat of paint on them, even though they're gonna rub off whenever you screw it on there a time or two. Okay guys, so the mistake I made was I got a clean out, which would work, uh, but this has to go on a female end, such as this, to screw on. But it was the same price as a regular female threaded end, which is what I was looking for at the store the other day, but I couldn't find it. So we're just gonna take that and we're gonna put it on the top piece. Luckily, I got to a hardware store that's close by right here, just before they closed, so I'm able to get this done today. Same thing, just a little bit of glue on the inside there. I don't really want it to squish out on me. Push it down on there real good. This is still wet, but I'm just gonna screw it down over the very end 
just enough to hold it upright because like I say those threads are going to wear off anyway and now I can put some paint on it. The paint that we're using is this Rust-Oleum 2X. It does say that it's for plastic on here but like I said I used Fusion last time and it didn't really seem to be that much better. This is what I used on the one that I made for my dad which is in the video of the original making the lamp post. And it seems to hold up just as good as the Fusion, and it's easier to find. The Fusion, I had to, a lot of places don't care anymore. I had to special order it on Amazon. But see, this is what I was talking about, what all happened with those. Which we'll go over it with a little bit of magic eraser. The flagpoles. Um, that hang out they're pretty good shape right now so we're just going to leave them that way we don't have to take the flags and everything off of them all right so that's going to do it for our project today uh, we're just going to put another coat or two of paint on this in the next 30 minutes or so let it dry up Put another coat of paint on it a couple more times just to give it a little added strength hopefully some scratch resistance um, actually going to read the directions here and see what it recommends it says you can do another coat in one hour or you need to wait 48 hours so i'm gonna wait one hour put another coat on maybe twice tonight but we'll show you what it looks like when we get done Okay guys, so we're done with our project here. So now we got two pieces that are pretty portable instead of one larger piece that can be a little bit of an issue. So we're gonna put this thing together in real time and we're gonna see uh, how long it takes and how hard it is. So we're just gonna set this in the base that I already have down here that doesn't show on the camera. We're gonna get this. And we're gonna screw it down on here a little bit. It is a little bit uh, sticky there just because that's new paint. Now we just got to put this on one side. Put our flag on the other side. So that's all there is to it. I really like this project. I use it all the time. Usually when I'm at a park, like I say, people think it's built into the park and they don't even realize till they see my sign and they're like, is that yours? But I like carrying it around. It's a little bit of extra hassle just to go through. But as you can tell, it doesn't take very long to set up. So, uh, you know, check it out. If you want one, make you one. This is just regular old garden flag. Uh, which is what I was going to put over on this side, but I wanted something metal because I figured that it would just be easier to see, especially because it's reflective at night. And then this is just a solar light, which is, like I say, the most expensive part of the whole project. Thanks for tuning in. Join us next time. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button.